Pressure is one of the most important parameters that we measure in the atmosphere. It simply tells us how much atmosphere do we have around us. At the surface, pressure at sea level, pressure of course is higher than in the mountains, even lower at higher altitudes like in the Andes or in the Tibetan Plateau. And simply to know where within the atmosphere we are, we need a good pressure measurement. Well, often we want to know how much of a trace gas we have in the atmosphere or how much water vapor we have uh, in the atmosphere. And one measure to express that is a ratio, partial pressure of water vapor compared to the total amount of uh, air that we have. And so there we need to understand that the total pressure of air is a sum of all the different partial pressures of the different gases that we have uh, in the atmosphere, nitrogen, oxygen, argon, water vapor, and all the other uh, lesser uh, trace gases. And therefore we need a pressure measurement as well as a partial pressure information. Sometimes we can measure the partial pressure directly, other times the partial pressure is calculated or inferred by a different uh, measurement. Well, the ideal gas law relates pressure, temperature, and density, or amount of gas and volume. So if you have two of those three, you can calculate the other one. If you have temperature and density, you can calculate the pressure. Or if you have the pressure and the density, you can calculate the temperature. Pressure is a measurement that is very often measured. Therefore, that's typically a starting uh, point for uh, one of the other two missing parameters. Well, the hydrostatic equation just gives a change of pressure as a function of density uh, and of the gravitational constant. But there is no pressure in there directly. However, density is usually very difficult to measure directly. It's a lot easier to measure temperature and pressure. So you use the ideal gas law to replace that with a measurement of temperature and pressure. And then you can use the hydrostatic equation to get a new equation, which we call the hypsometric equation. The hypsometric equation is basically derived from the hydrostatic equation, and that allows us to calculate a height from a pressure and temperature measurement, or it also allows us to calculate a pressure from a height and a temperature measurement, always assuming that we know the density of our gas.